Do you have a special occasion coming up and you're panicked because you don't know how to do your own makeup or maybe you had a failed makeup trial? This happened to my customer, Cassandra. She just reached out to me and said, help, can I pay you to do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom? My daughter's wedding is upcoming in July and my trial made me look 30 years older. If I had a dime for every time I heard this, I would be a millionaire. So stay here, stay put, because I'm going to do special occasion makeup for mother of the bride, mother of the groom. Maybe you have a high school reunion coming up, maybe a really special anniversary dinner, maybe just a really fun party. Maybe you're going on a cruise and one night you wanna look really red carpet. You've come to the right place. This is special occasion makeup, Saint. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Spieler. I'm the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass. It's a series of classes I created for women over 40 on mature techniques. I do recommend lots of products, but mostly it's for technique. Um, and it's over 21 classes. You can always find that in a link under the video title today. But I'm also a 25 year professional makeup artist. I come from the television and film industry, and I guess I'm an influencer now. <laughs> I got on TikTok almost two years ago and it's really changed my life. And another thing that has changed my life is uh, Saint, Saint Beauty. I came across it in November and started investing in some more pieces in December. And by January, after I had COVID, I was ready to share it with women as a solution to cover our dark circles and um, still remain skin-like and youthful and plump. So today's video is for a customer. Her name is Cassandra. She asked if I could, you know, do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with her because her daughter's wedding is in July. She had a not very good mother of the bride makeup trial. And I hear this time and time again. Young artists are just not always good at mature makeup. It's not that they're not good artists, they're just not experienced in mature makeup. And Cassandra sent me pictures of herself that were very soft and pretty. She's wearing Saint, she might have a wash of color, a little bit of eyeliner, she has beautiful lashes, she has beautiful skin. Um, she looks beautiful in her natural everyday photo. And then she sent me a photo of how the makeup artist did her makeup and she just looked harsh. It was like really severe eyes and really sharp line. A sharp line on an older woman on the lips is so unflattering. It'll instantly make you look like Joan Crawford and not the pretty Joan Crawford, the old Joan Crawford. So I said, you know what? I don't have time to do a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I'm behind on color matching. If you are waiting for a color match, I apologize. I'm gonna actually put some stuff on while I talk to you. Um, I had three huge, huge brand campaigns last week for TikTok. Um, huge brands that I've been working with since the 90s and early 2000s. It's very thrilling to me. It's what I always planned on doing before I found Saint. And so um, I have to balance my influencer life and Saint. So then I got because of all the stress last week and all the filming, then I got a migraine over the weekend and I'm so behind on color matching. So please just be patient. I will get them out. I'm chipping away at them daily. Okay, so this is what I would say to um, you, Cassandra. Cassandra is wearing a navy dress. She is a beautiful brunette. Her hair is about my length, maybe a little bit shorter, and she has caramel, gorgeous, warm highlights or lowlights in her hair. She's super open to any colors that I suggest. So I'm gonna do my face the way I would do her face. And then this is her little one-on-one -on -one tutorial, but it's also something all of you can use. This is going to be a little bit more of a special occasion look, but you will see it's very soft and pretty because I think it's so important to be pretty close up and not just in photo. That's a huge thing for me. Anytime you see any of my videos on TikTok or here on YouTube, if you came to my home and saw me close up in person, it would be very soft and pretty and natural. I'm not about heavy cakey makeup. I hate that look. Okay, the first thing, you're going to do a very, very good skincare prep, okay? And by now, I hope you all know how to do that. Um, I want you to get Luma Fry Drops. They're kind of pricey, but you can get them at any drugstore. They will make your eyes 
whiter than white, and that's what you want for your special day and for pictures. Um, Cassandra has more color on her body than her face, as many of us do. Um, and so I would recommend going and getting this tan tanologist. Um, what color is this? I don't know what color, oh, light. She might want white light, she might want medium, but I put one to two drops of this in my moisturizer. Now I put my moisturizer on about 20 minutes ago. I just did one drop today. It just cuts the pastiness, but Cassandra could even put two drops of this in her moisturizer that morning and she'll just develop a little pretty tan, um, very light throughout the day. For body, I think it's super important to do a little self tanner if you don't already have some. Always prep your body with a scrub in the shower. You have to get off that dead skin cells before you can do a self tanner. Um, and then I, I do my whole body in like a really luxurious body lotion or body cream. Uh, Josie Moran just sent me this. I love, I love her whipped body cream and I'm so happy it's in fragrance free because I never want a fragrance in my lotion to conflict with a fragrance I'm wearing that day. So I would do this all over and then go in with self tanner. My favorite is a mousse. I love the company Beauty by Earth because they're clean. They gave, they sent it to me last summer and I still have a bunch left and it still works great, so why get a new one? Okay, today I also just got this from Natasha Denona. It's called Ice, Ice, Igen? Igen, I guess, Skin Glass. This is her new primer and um, I'm gonna use it because you you guys ask me all the time about primers. Um, let me tell you about this primer real quick. They just sent this to me and I thought, oh, I'm gonna use it today. Um, first of all, it has hyaluronic acid and it has a lot of natural peptides. We know peptides are beautiful for plumping, so it's great for mature skin. It has Mediterranean um, microalgae in it, which not only protects and soothes your skin barrier, but also reduces excess oil amazing and then like i said it's got the peptides and the hyaluronic acid um, fast acting moisturization up to 72 hours but it is a primer for under your makeup okay so it says shake really well i've never used it but i thought why not um oh it's pearly oh ooh, it's pretty okay so you know i'm I love my RMS primer. You know how much I love, love the RMS primer. Um, but I just really wanted to, I liked Natasha Denona. I love her eyeshadows. And so I really wanted to try this primer. It feels nice. It feels um, thick, but once it's on the skin, it just feels really velvety. Look at that glow. I mean, I could go out like this, throw on a little mascara, I could go out like this and be really happy. So that's her um, skin glass. Okay, so that was sent to me. I did not buy that with my own money. And uh, Josie Moran was sent to me. But everything else, I've, I think everything else I've paid for with my own money today, okay? Before I do makeup, I always put on a lip balm because, you know, we tend to get kind of dry as we get older. Now, I like the Lawless because it is plumping. So it's a lip plumping balm and it's completely clear. And I love it, I got it, I got it at Sephora. Okay, so where is, okay. I'm gonna go right in to my makeup, but I'm gonna do my eyebrows first because I'm waiting for that primer to kick in. We never ever put makeup on right after the primer. We really have to wait a few minutes to make that primer nice and, and set and ready to accept makeup on top. Um, and I know a lot of you know that I love to do my eyes first and then foundation, but I'm gonna do foundation first today and then I'm gonna do eyes. And I'm gonna try to go fast because so many of you say, your videos are too long, you talk too much. I know, trust me, I know. I know. And, you know, I edit these myself. I don't have time to learn all the fancy editing tricks. 
when I edit in a little tiny app, like if I'm doing TikToks or Instagram, I can I can speed things up in an app, but I don't know how to do that on my YouTube editing software, so I can't speed things up like boring eyebrows or boring mascara. Okay. It's important to do a nice eyebrow for a wedding day or special occasion. I love a good eyebrow. And we'll do a little bit of brow gel later. Okay. Here we go. So here is my Saint palette that I have. Grease all over. Is this gorgeous? Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? These are foundations. These are foundations. And then we have some bronzers and some contours. I am going to do a little contour today because Cassandra has really nice broad cheekbones like me. And so she could get away with a little contour. Um, so I'm going to do, let me see. <laughs> I'm trying to see what color I am. Okay, I think. Okay, I'm right here. I'm going to be amber. Now, Cassandra is amber also, but she said, can I go a little darker for the wedding? And I would say yes. I, I'm i amber right here. You could go up to this, which is sandy. Sandy is really nice for... Um, Caucasian tan skin. If you want to go a little tanner and you're Caucasian, you can also do this mango. See how this mango is a little bit more orangey? That's also pretty for a tan, but I think Sandy is more neutral. And then you, if you want to warm up Sandy, you can always go in with um, bronzer, okay? So do you see how I'm kind of like just applying this all over? And I'm kind of gonna let it warm. I'm gonna let it sit on the skin for a minute. And do you see how I just do one color? I'm amber all over. I'm not like the young girls that's gonna do the light colors down the center of the face and then heavy, heavy. Um, that doesn't look pretty close up, I don't think. I think that's beautiful in photo. It's beautiful on social media and video, but close up, when someone's perimeter is really dark and the center of their face is really light and it looks like they have a spotlight following them everywhere, no thank you. We don't do that in television and film. Actresses don't do that. I mean, you might see singers, you know, singers are a little bit more extra, right? You might see some singers do that look on stage, but in person, people t tend to want to look really pretty in person. Okay, now I'm going to take my Stands Out sponge. I love this sponge. They sent this to me too. All the Saint stuff I've paid for myself or earned it with free product credit, but this stands out company found me and said, we're gonna mail you this sponge. And I said, oh, I've seen my friend Ann talk about this sponge over on TikTok. And you know, I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of the Beauty Blender. I'm also a huge fan of the Saint Sponge. The Saint Sponge is much cheaper than the Beauty Blender. And to me, it feels exactly the same. It's real squishy and bouncy. But this sponge is so much fun. It's like memory foam and it's really squishy. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything around my eyes. That's why my under eyes look like this. But do you see how I just look creamy and radiant? When you guys send me photos and I'm like, oh my gosh, you look creamy and radiant. That's me giving you the best compliment because to me this Makeup is creamy and radiant. Now you'll sometimes see the young women put a lighter color here. I've tried that and guess what? Just even a little bit lighter, I'll go a little bit lighter right there. Close up, I can see texture, I can see my pores. So you know what, as we get older, we're not gonna do it like the young girls, we're just not. Even the women in their early 40s can do that a little bit, but we have to ask ourselves, 
but how does that look close up? Always ask yourself that. When you see a young influencer or a younger saint artist, she might even be in her 40s, how does it look close up? Because I can tell you right now, I'm looking in a 10 time magnification mirror. If you got up close right in my face, I just look creamy and radiant, okay? Do you see some sunspots? Yeah, is there a little discoloration on my chin? Yeah, definitely we're not doing under the eyes yet. But don't worry, because we're gonna go in with Demi and we're gonna fix all of that, okay? Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of, um, I'm gonna do a little bit, I'm gonna put that away and get my, my real palette. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of olive for contour. Um, I think this is olive, yeah, this is olive. And do you see where my natural shadow is? I'm going just slightly above that and we don't take it past the eye, okay? So just right there, we do not take it past the eye. We're just creating, see how I'm going now up in a little bit of a C up into my, it's not really a C, it's more of just like a little arc. So I'm going above that shadow a little bit and taking it slightly up. So see how this shadow's lower than this one? That's all we're doing. It's just a tiny, tiny little hack, a little trick. I'm not going past that eye and go right up. Now, Cassandra will not need contour on her forehead. She does not have a big, long forehead like I do. You can even take a little bit down between the ear and the jaw. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit on my forehead just because I have a five head. but I'm not going in the temple. We don't wanna hollow that out. That's when we start to look like the crypt keeper. We're not gonna do that here, okay? And then I'm gonna take the smaller side of the detail brush and I'm gonna do a little tiny bit on my nose. And the nose contour always kind of starts where the eyebrow is. You're gonna go up into the eyebrow and then you're kind of going where, you're, where you naturally start to bend over the side. Now, I'm not going real tiny down the middle because that does not look pretty close up, okay? Remember, we wanna look pretty close up. You're about to be the bride, the mother of the bride, the mother of the groom, maybe a bridesmaid. You do not wanna look like you've got weird contour all on the bridge of your nose that doesn't look natural close up. So we're gonna do it like this, okay? So my nose looks a little bit more slender, but close up, it doesn't look crazy. We don't wanna look crazy close up, okay? Um, okay, I think that's it. I don't have my MAC Paint Pot nearby, so I'm gonna use this Sigma, um, this Sigma eyeshadow base. It comes in a big chunky pencil and to me, it looks exactly like the MAC Paint Pot, okay? I'm, I'm just not using the MAC Paint Pot because literally it's way behind me in those little gray flannel drawers and I don't feel like going to get it. But this Sigma one works great. I've been using it a bunch. It looks just like painterly. And we're gonna go on the lids little bit into the, into the crease. What's ever left on my finger, I kind of go up into the crease just because it's going to give you um, a little bit of a nice canvas, okay? All right, so we have our contouring. Oh, I do want a little bit of contouring on my neck, um, especially if it's special occasion. Um, I'm gonna go, I wanna hide that I'm gonna hide those jowls. But again, it's not you're not gonna do it so much that if someone's up close in your face, they're gonna see a bunch of dark makeup on your jowls. And then you just blend it down the neck just a little bit, not much, okay? It just takes the tiniest attention off that droop, but again, Nothing but plastic surgery works, so let's just roll with it, okay? All right, now we're gonna do some bronzer. 
and I'm gonna use my favorite bronzer in the world is Bella. I love Bella bronzer. It really is the prettiest bronzer I've ever used. Now I will say Mob Beauty, if you, if you don't wear Saint, if you're just here for kicks and giggles and you don't wear any of the Saint makeup, this M80 by, by Mob Beauty is about the prettiest bronzer I've ever used outside of Bella. But I'm gonna use Bella. Now our brush is really big and Bella is narrow, right? So you have to kind of squish it and do that. But it's okay, it works. Okay, and now I'm just gonna pounce a little bronzer and see how that blends all that con, now you don't see that contour. See how my I recede back a little bit? It gives me a little bit of depth without looking too crazy. And then I like a little bit of blush. I'm gonna bronzer on the cheek just a little bit because we're gonna do blush later. Okay, and I like a little bit of bronzer on the nose. You can do a little bit of bronzer all over, right? Because when we get tan in the sun, we get it all over. Okay, and then I take it down the neck because my neck is much lighter than my body and my self-tanner is wearing off, so I do need to get more um, self-tanner on my body, okay? So let's go into eyeshadows. I recommended for Cassandra the color Peppa, which is this really pretty peach color. I love peaches. See, it's more of like a champagne peach. I love peaches and navy, and she's wearing navy. So we're gonna do the Peppa. Let's make, yeah, is that Peppa? Yeah, that's Peppa, okay. We're gonna do Peppa. And I'm gonna go into my crease with some Bubba because She's got that really warm coloring. So here's Bubba. Bubba is a really warm golden brown, okay? And I start, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's just in my crease. Now notice I'm kind of going a little bit up to the eyebrow and then kind of back and forth in the crease. Do you see how I'm keeping it in the crease, but also higher than the crease? That's gonna be, and I'm wearing navy today too, just cause I wanted to feel what it all looked like with navy, okay? Um, Saint makes really nice eye brushes and I'm just too lazy to kind of grab some of them. So I'm grabbing this BK Beauty. This is number A503 from the Angie Hot and Flashy collection. BK Beauty sent me their brushes and I really, really like them. They're so nice. Okay. So there's Bubba all over my eyes. I love it. And Cassandra has an eye a little bit like me and you can see a little bit of her eyelid. Um, she might be a tiny bit more hooded than me, but not much. And so I'm going to, yeah, see, I don't really have, a lot of clean, <laughs> I don't have a lot of clean brushes in here. Let's see what's this. I'm gonna take Cupcake, which is this beautiful cream color, and I'm gonna go, I love Cupcake. It is so pretty. It works for me in the winter, but it works great in the summer. Do you see how it just makes a creamy, creamy brow bone? There's zero frost in it. It's a beautiful matte but it's not like a flat, dry, chalky matte. And then when I tell any of you to blend the edges, what I mean is we're blending the edge of Bubba. So look, there's no line. Like you could get real close up to me and it just looks kind of airbrushed. We never want lines on our face as we get older. It's just very harsh looking, okay? So there's Bubba now, and there's Cupcake. That's beautiful together. Um, and then I'm gonna take the Peppa. Peppa is right here. And I'm gonna go, oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? It's so pretty because it's it's like, um, it's funny, our shadows look so much darker than they are, but they're really 
not dark at all. Look at that. That is very, very beautiful. It looks a little like the one right next to it called Bright Eyes. They're very similar. The one thing I could criticize Saint about is so many of their shimmers look so similar. I feel like they need a better shade range. Um, but what they have is very pretty, okay? And then see as you move your eyelids a little bit, you can see that little bit of peach. I do like that about the Saint shadows. They're almost like two-dimensional because there's two different colors going on in there. Um, that is so pretty. And then we can take a little bit of, oh gosh. I don't know if I have a brush. Well, we'll try this one. We're gonna take a little bit of um, Sabrina, which is kind of looks like cupcake, but it's lighter. And I'm doing a little bit in the inner corner. Okay. Now, you might want a little liner under your eyes. That's totally fine. We are gonna take, I think, cocoa this dark color right here. We're gonna take some cocoa. And you know what? I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Now Cassandra's really good at her eyeliner in the picture she had it on and it was really, really pretty. I'm just smoking a little bit, do you see that? Just a little bit. And then you can even take a little bit what's on the brush, you don't even have to dip it back in, a little bit that's on the brush, and go under the eye, just a little bit. We don't wanna drag that eye down too much. I am gonna do a pop of a fake lash in the outer corner. Okay, so see that weighted my eye down a little bit and some of you might be thinking, oh, I liked it better before. But in photos, it's kind of important to have a little bit of eyeliner under the eye in the outer corner. And some of what you're seeing too is just my dark circles under my eye, okay? So all I have on my eyes is Peppa, Bubba, Cupcake, Sabrina, and now I'm doing a little bit of this Coco and the outer corner. And I know Cassandra's gonna do her makeup on her daughter's wedding day and it's going to be so, so pretty. Now you could even, if you wanted to go a little darker, you could even take it up into the crease. See like this, see just ever so slightly though. Not like heavy, not as dark as the younger women do, but see how it kind of like makes that eye look a little bit more deep set, even though I do not have a deep set eye and neither does Cassandra. But you can take just that little bit, okay? And it just kind of really brings, eye out. that'll be so pretty in photo too. That'll look gorgeous. Okay, I love it. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of let me see, let me see, let me see. My favorite eyeliner in the world, where is it? Doggone it, did I, did I lose it? Oh, nuts, I'll be so mad if I lost my eyeliner. Here it is. It is Give by Gwen Stefani. It's black, it's called Spider Webs. You know my trick, I like it on the waterline. One, when I go dark on the waterline, it makes my iris look lighter. Um, Cassandra has my eyes. Um, she has a hazel, she has kind of a golden olive in her eyes and then a hazel brown. And then you can even take a little tiny bit. And like I said, I, I know she's good with eyeliner because I've seen her photos. But you can even smoke a little bit of eyeliner up on top, just a little bit. And I don't have a sharp point. Do you see how dull that is? Just a tiny bit. We've already got that cocoa shadow there, so it's gonna kinda all blend together. And see, I'm not taking it in here. I do have it on my waterline. Now this doesn't budge. I'm not putting it on my lower waterline. You could, but I'm not going to. This doesn't budge. This will do this all day long. 
it won't transfer. It's the best pencil I've ever used on my eyes. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish my eyes in a few minutes. Let me look close up. Yeah, okay, let me do a little bit. No, I don't wanna do mascara because that takes too long. Okay, um, I'm gonna do some Demi. I think it's I think it's necessary to do some demi right now. So I'm going to do the O3 most women can use the O3 right there. O3 is this deeper peach because it's level 3 it has more pigment in it. If it ends with a one, it's very sheer. And if it ends with a zero or a five, I mean, um, a three or a five, it means it has more pigment. So more color to color correct. And then I have blue veins right under my eyes here. Okay. Now, a lot of you go, gosh, you know, you make that look so beautiful. You're under eye disappears. Why doesn't mine look that like that? Well, because you're seeing me on camera. Okay. Even though this looks beautiful close up, if you saw me in person, watch. There it is. See the dent? See the dent? There's nothing we can do about dent, ladies. Those dents are three dimensional. All we can do is color correct. Demi is for color correcting and it looks like skin. So close up, your under eye is gonna be very youthful, very skin-like, very hydrated looking. And listen, I got wrinkles, look. I got wrinkles, I got crepiness, but the Demi doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup, okay? That's why I like Demi, again, if you were at my house right now and up and up close to my face, you would be like, oh, looks so good. Um, and now I'm gonna take a little bit of the O1, or you could even take R01, either one. They're both very pretty. And I'm gonna go a little bit higher. I'm gonna go in this outer corner, see how that lifts. See, now that under eye eyeliner, that liner under my eye isn't looking so, it's not dragging my eye down like it did in the very beginning. It's because I'm covering a lot of the natural shadow under my eye. Not pretty. Look at that. But look, the dent's still there, ladies. The dent's not going away. Even if I go and get surgery, They can lift the skin, but they can't fix your bones underneath. They can't fix the fact that we're losing collagen and elastin. It's, it's just a, a fact that we're gonna have to accept. I see women get pulled. I see them take out skin, right? Like, look, not as bad, but you can't get rid of the hollowing out under the eye. Now that's where filler comes in, but that presents a whole new problem. I see more women getting the filler dissolved than I see getting fillers anymore. Fillers are kind of becoming outdated. Um, now I'm gonna take a little bit of the green yellow one, just a little bit, because I have a little purple red on my chin. So I like a little green yellow one, see? And I like a little green yellow, green yellow one around my nose. Now, if you're at all deeper than me, you would use Y01. Y01, the, the green yellow one would be too light. Sometimes I go under my eye with a little green yellow one too, okay? All right, super happy with that. Um, I'm not gonna get my sunspots yet because one, the, the 3D covered my sunspots really well, but I wanna do blush, so it doesn't make sense to put Demi on, only to take it off again. So I'm gonna go in with the opposite side of my bronzer brush, and yes, I do need to clean, for sure, I need to clean these brushes. 
I'm gonna take the color Hollywood because it looks a lot like NARS Orgasm. And I hate, I hate the name. I hate that NARS has a blush called Orgasm. Do you know how embarrassing that is when you're putting NARS Orgasm on a young girl and she loves it and wants to go buy it and, and her mom's like, what's the name of it? And you're like, NARS Orgasm. You know, I mean, it's like, it's really embarrassing. I try not to use it on minors, but it's just so pretty. But now I don't have to use it on minors anymore because now we've got Hollywood, which is a pink, a warm pink, but it has a gold shimmer, which will be great on Cassandra because she's got those beautiful caramel low lights in her hair. Now she's wearing the navy dress, so this will be gorgeous with navy. Look, I'm wearing navy, but she's also, the, the night before for the rehearsal dinner, she's wearing um, a beautiful white dress with like violet flowers on it, mostly white, just a little bit of violet here and there. So this Hollywood will look gorgeous with the navy dress and gorgeous with, I like a little on the nose, that's just me. I also like to take a little bit of blush right out on the outer brow bone. See how that makes it kind of a cohesive look? That's just me, you don't have to do that, but I like a little bit right out there and then I take it out to the temple and then down. Okay, so pretty, so pretty, okay? And then now I can go in with a little bit of my Demi. I've been using a spot cream and you know what? I think it's really working. It's by Muesli, Muesli spot cream. But you know what? That amber, that amber did a good job. I don't have many spots to cover. Okay, for lips, um, because it's a wedding, because she's gonna be busy, uh, I want a really long, long lasting lip liner. The longest lasting lip liner I've ever used in my life is the Pat McGrath. It's kind of pricey, but it is the best lip liner I've ever used. This is color Buff. And Cassandra could go darker than that, but Do you see how I always keep my pencils dull? I never want a sharp line. That is not pretty on older skin. A sharp line just looks way too harsh. And Cassandra likes to wear her lips kind of light. And I do too. I, I'm a total nude. I'm a nude girl all the way. So in person that even looks softer than it does here and then i'm gonna have her get i think like a pat mcgrath negligee isn't that pretty it's kind of a warm it's like a warm peachy rose and it goes so well with the cheeks. I don't use Saint Cheek on the lips. Sometimes I do for video or for photos, but in person, no way. It's not long wearing. Um, so I want a long wearing lipstick and I'm telling you this lip liner um, is the best longest wearing lip liner. I could eat a burger and it stays on. It's called Buff by Pat McGrath Labs. This is negligee from her Bridgerton collection. Isn't that pretty? And then you could put any gloss in the world over it. You could use those new Maybelline plumping glosses. This is the Patrick Ta. Uh, look at that. That's the Patrick Ta nude. It's just nude. That's what I would, this is what I personally would wear. Okay, I'm gonna do mascara and come back and pop a lash on. I'll be right back. Okay, now I just misted my face with a setting spray. I wanna show you how much I do so some of you can see really how much setting spray I use, okay? I keep it about this close to my face, you know, maybe about, I don't know, what is that? Seven, eight inches maybe? And you really wanna feel wet everywhere. Then I take it on the back of my hand, okay? I take a little puddle of it. 
and I set that demi. So I never have to powder. Oh, I didn't even powder today. You know what? I don't need it. That's what I love about Saint. I do not need to powder Saint makeup. You can, you definitely can, but I just personally don't need to because I like to look. Look at this. Isn't that so pretty even close up? Look at that. Tell me that is not gorgeous, special occasion, mother of the bride makeup. And she can wear this exact look for the rehearsal dinner and the exact look the next day for the wedding. And no one will go, oh, she looks the same. No, she'll look completely different because of the dresses she's wearing and probably how she's wearing her hair. Okay. This is something that you might not want to do yourself, but I really think a half lash on a mature eye is such a game ch changer for photos. This is where you might want to pay the makeup artist to do your lashes. And you might want to ask ahead of time, hey, if I bring my own lashes and my own glue, can the makeup artist put them on me and I'll pay her? Usually they'll charge you like 10, 15, $20 just to put it on. You're gonna go get an Ardell half lash. You can look at them at Ulta, Sally's, Amazon, but make sure it's a half lash. I've cut some demi wisps in half. I don't want you doing that when you first start wearing lashes. And this glue, you can cry and this glue is not going to pop off, okay? This is the Duo Quick Set, okay? So important, I think, for a mature eye to have, because I have mascara on, and I, I told her to go get the, the Thrive, the tubing mascara, because it's a hot summer day in Temecula, California, which is inland from the ocean. It gets very hot there. So I want her to wear a mascara that is not going to cause her to transfer. And again, any makeup artist can put a lash on for you, but you're just gonna put it right in the outside. And do you see the drama? But it's not all in here. So this looks really nice. You know, this, you'll just see your own little lashes here and then your natural lashes will blend into the fakes. But this creates more drama in the outer eye. It lifts the outer eye. Look at the difference. Like this is pretty. This is super pretty. But look at this. Do you see the drama? That is gonna be so beautiful in photo. And yet look, close up. Because it's just out here it looks natural. People will be staring at you like, should I ask if those are fake? You know what I mean? They, they can't quite figure it out because they don't see it all coming in here and being heavy and thick and poking the eye. The one thing that drives me crazy about social media makeup, especially with young women, is they put the whole strip on and it goes way too far in and it makes their eye look cumbersome like they have a tarantula on their eye. It just, it makes me uncomfortable even looking at it. Okay, and when you take them off at night, all you're gonna do is take them right on the outside and slowly pull them off, put them right back in their case because you can wear the same lashes about six times before maybe they start getting, I and mean, you're gonna peel off the glue every time you put it, them on too. You don't leave old glue on. And look, do you see that gorgeous highlight on my cheek? It's not, shiny in a way that looks greasy. It's like, it's a diffused shine. That is the Hollywood. That is the beautiful warm pink with that little bit of gold in there. I mean, look at that. It even makes your skin look plumper. It makes your skin look a little firmer. I'm such a huge fan of this. Um, can you see this? I'm a huge fan of this blush, Hollywood. And I've never worn it before. I've never worn Hollywood. I've um, had it for a long time. I've swatched it on my hand. I know it looks exactly like the NARS orgasm, but I've never actually, but yeah, I mean, 
our blushes are $14. <laughs> Do you know how much NARS Orgasm is? A lot. This is $14 for one little pan that you'll probably have for, I don't know, six months. I mean, that's, we're talking drugstore prices here. Okay. Look at that. Do you see how lifted that is? Let's take the hair out and pretend we're doing a cute hair day. I love it. I love it, Cassandra. This is exactly how I would do your makeup if you were in my makeup chair or if we did a one-on-one. -on -one. And now you have your own little one-on-one -on -one tutorial that the whole world can also do. This look works for anything. It works for an anniversary dinner or just any dinner out, a party. It works pretty in the daytime. Look, I'm in daylight right now. I have a huge window in front of me. I have a ring light to flood out the dents. Um, but at night, it'll, it'll look even softer at night. Okay. Um, but because we have that depth of that cocoa shadow in the outer corner, it gives us a little bit of depth out here. We've got the black on the waterline to really beef up that lash line. And then we have those lashes just on the outer eye just to really lift and look close up. Isn't that pretty even close up? That doesn't look scary, does it? Okay, never be afraid to ask a makeup artist to just pop a lash on you. And shame on them Shame on them if they say no, but they should. I mean, gosh, if they can make 20 bucks just going, Ch -ch -ch, heck, I would do that a million times over. That's good money, 20 bucks just to pop a lash on someone. Okay, so there you have it. I will put all of the colors below the title of the video. All you have to do is click on the title and it all drops down. Um, if you have a saint artist and you liked anything and you want to shop through me, I'll give you my party link. Uh, the cool thing about a party link is you can shop through me and I get the credit, but you don't have to leave your artist because I'm not here to take business from anyone. There are enough women in this world. There is enough makeup in this world that I don't need to take anybody's customer. I'm super thrilled if you decide to stay with your saint artist. In fact, I encourage you to stay with your saint artist, but a lot of women do come to me for Demi. Um, and sometimes if you feel like you got some great education in my video and you want to honor my time and my expertise, I provide a party link so you can shop through me without having to switch artists, okay? And I think that's about it. So there you go. There's Cassandra's mother of the bride makeup. I feel so cute today. Where should I go? I do have to go to the vet. <laughs> anyway, bye for now.